Hey, this is Eric from Eric's Arm Reviews. This is our first ever video on our YouTube channel. Before I begin, I want to talk about the channel itself. Um, so the purpose of this channel is to do uh, some reviews. So myself and other writers will do video reviews on this channel, but primarily the purpose of this channel is to do unboxings and collection updates. Um, myself, I'm a huge vinyl cassette tape CD collector and other formats as well. I like to talk about things I get or things out of my collection. So this will be primarily for that. I'll just talk about you know tapes, vinyl, other CDs I think are important to talk about or ones I just picked up or ones that you know, are rare that I've had for a while. Um, that's pretty much the purpose of this um, channel. A little disclaimer though before I begin also is that I go to school in Colorado but I'm from Massachusetts. Um, so most of my cassette collections actually out here. I have some tapes at home but most are out here. But for vinyl, most of them are actually at home and I have some out here. Um, so if I get anything new, anything that I picked up recently or any kind of shipments I get um, will be talked about wherever I am. But if it's mostly vinyl stuff, it will primarily be talked about at home where the collection actually is and vice versa for cassettes. So you see the trophy eyes flag behind me, it means I'm actually in Colorado. Or if there's any flag here, I'm in Colorado. If not, I'm somewhere else, mostly back home or something like that. Um, but anyway, what I want to talk about, what I want to, oh my god, my bad. What I want to talk about mostly today is the three most valuable tapes I have. Um, and actually, ironically, one of them is actually at home. It's not actually out here, so I made I put like another one in as a additional kind of fourth valuable or whatever. Um, but the one that's actually at home is Story So Far is Under Soil and Dirt, the first pressing. Uh, it's a yellow variant out of 50. Um, Story So Far is my favorite pop punk band of all time. And I do my best at trying to collect their entire collection. It's pretty hard. It's one of those bands that has a ton of variants, and a lot of them are very hard to come by. They're expensive. Um, so whatever I can get, I just kind of have that. Um, but when I got the cassette uh, about two years ago off eBay, it was probably the most valuable tape I had at the time. It probably still is. That's why it stays at home. Um, so when Pure Noise did a repress last year of their entire discography on tape, I actually picked up the entire thing and got the repress of Under Soil and Dirt so I can have something to listen to. It's actually still sealed. I'll, I'll probably open it very soon and listen to it, um, but I just haven't had a chance to yet. Um, this is actually on olive green rather than the yellow that I have, and this is, I think, limited to 500, so it's, it's not as rare or nearly as rare as the yellow one. Um, but it's, it's good to have just like a backup one, and it's cool that, you know, like, Releases like Songs Of and The Split With Maker that weren't even on tape before are now on it. But besides that, the Undersoil and Dirt first, co or first press copy I have is probably one of the most valuable tapes. One of the tapes I care about the most. So this is kind of, since it's not here, this is the representation for it. Uh, next up, I want to talk about, well, well, actually, these next three items are pretty much, I guess, like Holy Grail items to me. But the one I want to talk about next is actually one that I got recently. Um, it's Cow Decapitation's. The Anthropocene, or Anthropocene, my bad, I totally butchered that, Extinction. Um, this is, I think, the second, or what I said was the second best album in 2015, which most people said was the best. I have good reasons why Oceano's Ascendance should be the first best, or the, or the, uh, the actual best album in 2015, and it should be second. It's a very close second, but there's a certain reasons I won't get into right now. Um, but basically, this is my favorite release by Cal Cap. It's probably their best release, period. And the tape's out of 100, it's sold out like fairly quickly and it was insanely hard to come by. It's still hard to find now, um, so people try to sell it for a lot more than it's worth. Um, but it's on a clear tape. Um, just like that. There's nothing like crazy about the, 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 the appearance of the tape. It sounds great. It's a lot better than I thought it would on a cassette tape. It's actually a, um, a U card. I actually don't really like to open up the uh, J cards that much, um, but I'll do it for this one since it's kind of different. It's a U card, which I'm not a huge fan of, the style of U cards. I just think it's kind of just kind of weird and choppy, but Caldecap always kind of does that with their cassette tapes for some reason. Um, and yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. It's just one of my favorite album. What's well, my favorite album by them? One of my favorite albums of 2015. Probably the best death grind album of all time. And just was insanely hard to come uh, or to find a copy of. So when I finally got it, it was just it was mind blowing to me. And that's why it's one of the most valuable ones. Uh, next up, I think this was the third best or fourth best album of 2015. I could check. Um, the list I made for last year. This is Iris the Bear once uh, Hail Mary and this also is my opinion their best release and my favorite release from them This tape is also insanely rare. I was shocked. They even got a chance to get a copy um, It's out of 20 on a solid red. They made other variants on gray and black I think those were like out of 50 or out of 75. Those are a little easier to come by This is the hardest one the only person actually was even up, like willing to sell a copy was the guy with the red copy Which was ridiculous to me um, the J card is really boring. I'm not going to pull it out. It really just has like, you know, the members and, you know, like song tiles. So I won't show it to you guys. What's really cool though is that the guy who sold it to me wrote a hand written like thank you note. 
And this is probably one of my favorite things about collecting the community is that just people are just so like genuine a lot of times like they'll actually make things personal and stuff like that. Um, and this kind of makes the whole piece even more important to me and even more special to me. The fact that someone actually, you know, wrote like a, a handwritten like thank you note and stuff like that. Um, just really kind of shows how much I love the, the uh, collecting community and stuff like that. And, and yeah, besides the fact that it's an extremely rare tape, an amazing record, and the handwritten note is probably one of the most valuable tapes I have. And lastly, this is the most, I would say, rare tape I own. Um, it's, there's only one in existence. It's actually my own EP, <laughs> uh, the Wicked Decent EP, which came out in 2014 um, under my own name, Eric Clark. My friend Aaron Kane actually made this for me uh, for my 21st birthday. And it, it's just the most surreal gift I've ever got in my entire life. Being a collector myself, well, actually, I'll just show the back is just the, uh, the track titles. But being a collector myself, my like dream is to have my own releases on physical format. And before this was made by Aaron, none of them were on you know any kind of release like that. It was all just digital. So to have this as like a gift, just a total surprise, was absolutely amazing to me. And it's it's still surreal to hold this and say that this is my own you know release in a cassette or any kind of physical form. So because of that, you know, even though this probably isn't worth anything to anyone else, to me it's it's insanely important. And you know, I, I just I'm still like thankful and, and so appreciative of one of my closest friends Aaron for making this for me um, but yeah that, that's that's pretty much it it's just my own <laughs> release out of one and it's it's cool because hopefully I plan on to eventually release stuff like that on more formats in the future so it's kind of like the the first one of, of hopefully many to come but, but yeah that's about it those are the three most important tapes to me uh, whether they're rare hard to come by or just instantly special whether there's any kind of personal kind of attachments to them uh, but yeah, but I have a ton more tapes that I have out here that I want to talk about eventually. I actually have an unboxing coming up next um, of some electronic albums I want to talk about. But until next time, thanks for tuning in. And actually, I don't have a sign-off yet. Let me, yeah, I don't have a sign-off yet, but I'll get one soon. But until then, we'll see you next time.